Assalamu alaikum guys. Today we are going to start a lesson on oxides and you people will learn and memorize that how to memorize this oxides chapter. So come and watch this video. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today uh, you people will be able to classify oxides as acidic, basic, amphoteric oxides based on their metallic character. So in this lesson we will describe the classification of oxides. So first of all we will define what are oxides. Oxides are the compounds of oxygen with another element. When an oxygen atom combine with another element then we will say that these are the oxides. So let me explain this thing to you people that how can we explain that the oxides are the compounds of oxygen. This is the periodic table. So in the periodic table oxygen is in this sixth group here. Here we will say this is the atom of oxygen. If this oxygen atom will combine with the magnesium atom then it will form a compound this is called as magnesium oxide. So magnesium oxide is a compound when one magnesium atom chemically combined with another oxygen atom then they, we will say this is the magnesium oxide. So magnesium oxide is a compound of oxygen with the metals and if we will say this oxygen atom combined with one carbon atom, carbon is non-metal. If this carbon atom which is the non-metal combined with one oxygen atom then we will say that this is the compound of carbon oxide. So carbon monoxide if one oxygen is there we will say it is carbon monoxide and if it is the oxide of uh, mm, uh, with, two, with two oxygen atom and one carbon atom then we will say carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide two oxygen atoms will combine with one other one carbon atom one oxygen two oxygen atom with one carbon atom will form carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide will be formed when one carbon and two oxygen is there we will say that carbon dioxide we will say one carbon and one oxygen carbon monoxide so oxides are compounds of oxygen with another element so those elements can be metals and those elements can be non-metals. So this oxygen can react with this, this oxygen can be react with the non-metals. So these are the compounds of oxygen which we have described. Now next if we will say how these compounds actually form. If we will say iron oxide is there, Fe2O3 is going to form. So in that case what will happen? Here if hot iron wool if hot iron wool is plunged into a gas jar of oxygen hot iron wool when plunged into the glass jar of oxygen it glows bright orange and throw out a shower of sparks a black solid is left behind and that black solid is of iron 3 oxide it means when hot iron reacts with the oxygen it will form black iron 3 oxide so a reaction will take place and then we will say that oxides are compounds of oxygen with another element. Oxygen is going to react with another element to form iron oxide. We will have another look of the another example. Yes, copper is too unreactive to catch fire in oxygen. If we will say that copper can react with oxygen at the room temperature pressure so it is very difficult to react copper the reaction of copper with oxygen. But if we heat copper in a stream of oxygen then 
the surface of copper turns black so heated copper in the stream of oxygen react to form copper oxide and this copper oxide is a black solid so metal oxide will be formed and we will say black powdered black solid will be formed this is the copper oxide so this is how metals react with the non metals now come towards the next part when non metal carbon react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide people will say carbon dioxide will form then what happens actually powdered carbon is heated over a bunsen burner in the first step we will heat up the carbon over a bunsen burner until red hot then we will plunge this carbon into the gas jar filled with oxygen then carbon dioxide gas will be formed when we will insert this carbon in oxygen carbon dioxide gas will be formed and how can we identify the carbon dioxide gas yes carbon dioxide gas will be identified by using the lime water when lime water turns milky we will say carbon dioxide gas is formed so this is the non metal which will react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide now if we will talk about the sulfur oxide so sulfur plus oxygen will form sulfur dioxide this is the oxygen atom and if you will say this is the sulfur atom a compound will be formed this is the sulfur dioxide but 2o then we will attach with it two oxygen atoms two oxygen atoms will be combined with one sulfur atom so sulfur catches fire over a bunsen burner with the blue flame so when with the blue flame when we will insert in pure oxygen it will burns brighter blue with blue color so sulfur catches fire over a bunsen burner and burns with a blue flame in pure oxygen it burns even brighter the gas sulfur dioxide is formed sulfur dioxide is formed so this is the sulfur dioxide gas which will be formed after the reaction of sulfur with oxygen so we will we'll again come towards this periodic table and see the classification of metal oxides if we say the metal oxide can be amphoteric oxide metal oxides can be classified as basic oxide if we will talk about non metal oxides non metal oxides can be classified as acidic oxides and neutral oxides so this is the classification of oxides now step wise we will start to discuss the basic oxides the amphoteric oxides acidic oxides and neutral oxides now come towards the characteristics of these oxides so we will classify the oxides as metal oxides as a basic oxides and amphoteric oxides whereas non metal oxides are going to be classified into acidic oxides and neutral oxides but question arises why we say that basic oxides metal oxides both are metal oxides why we classify it as a basic oxide and amphoteric oxides so there are some certain characteristics through which we can say that they are called as basic oxides basic oxides are basically solid at room temperature pressure metal oxides are basic oxides metal oxides are basic oxides most are insoluble in water some dissolve in water to form alkalis so we know that metal oxides are basically the base so when base react with the acid it will form salt and water so some dissolve in water calcium oxide dissolve in water to form calcium hydroxide 
so it will react with acids to form salt and water and metal oxide when react with water to form an alkaline solution why we will say that this is alkaline solution after checking its ph by ph meter or any universal indicator we can check if the ph level is below above 7 then we will say that the solution mixture is alkaline in nature so this is about the basic oxide now we will move towards the amphoteric oxides amphoteric oxides are basically the oxides of metals react with both acids and alkalis they are react with both Zinc oxide is an amphoteric oxide. Example of amphoteric oxide, it will react with acid to produce salt and water. And again, zinc oxide will react with alkali to produce salt and water. Here, when zinc oxide will react with acid, it will behave as base. So, it is behaving as base. Zinc oxide is a base and it will react with acid to produce salt and water. Whereas when zinc oxide will react with an alkali, so it will behave as an acid. So zinc oxide will behave as an acid, is acid here to produce sodium zincate plus H2. Little complicated compound, radical zincate is ZnO2 2 minus. So in order to memorize this formula, you have to memorize this radical. So there is another example which I would like to show to you people about the amphoteric oxides. Another example, aluminium oxide, Al2O3, yes, it will behave as on a base when react with acid to produce salt and water. It will again react with alkali. So, amphoteric oxides are those oxides which react with both acid and alkalis to form salt and water. Another property of this is that they are solu soluble in alkaline water. So, if alkali in water, it will react and it will produce sodium tetrahydroxy aluminate. So this is the equation for the amphoteric oxides. Another oxide is their lead oxide. Lead oxide again will react with both of acids, both of these acids and alkali to produce salt and water. So metal oxides are those oxides. Basic oxides. Why? Because they produce alkaline solution. Amphoteric uh, react with acid to produce salt and water. Amphoteric oxide reacts with both acids and alkalis. Now we will move towards the non-metal oxides. So acidic oxides are the non-metal oxides. First of all, acidic oxides. Yes, what are the characteristics of acidic oxides? Oxides of non-metals dissolve in water to give acids. When non-metal oxide dissolve in water, it will produce acid. Yes, we can see carbon dioxide ga gas will dissolve in water to produce acid, carbonic acid. Sulfur dioxide gas produce uh, will give you produce acid when dissolve in water. Phosphorus pentaoxide will dissolve in water to produce phosphorus acid. Phosphoric acid will be produced respectively with another oxide of phosphorus. So, when the non-metal oxides will react with water, it will produce acids. So another property of this is the alkali will react with this acidic oxide to produce salt and water. The neutralization reaction will again take place when salt and water will form, when carbon dioxide and sodium hydroxide will react with this. So little pause the video here. Try to write these equations by your hand in order to practice these equations. So this is all about the non-metal oxides. So, come towards the non, another non-metal oxide, that is the neutral oxide. So, the neutral oxides are those oxides which basically are neutral in nature. They are not going to react with water, not dissolve in water, not react with any acid, not react with any alkali. So, these are the neutral oxides. So, here are some of the examples which we are going to discuss about the basic oxide and amphoteric oxides then acidic oxides and then neutral oxides here are some of the oxides which we are going to see the examples and we can identify the nature of these uh, we can classify on the nature of these oxides 
So here are some examples. So sodium oxide, calcium oxides, copper oxide and iron oxides are some examples of basic oxides. Amphotoric oxides which react with both acids and alkalis, they will are the aluminium oxide, zinc oxide and lead oxide. Acidic oxides are carbon dioxide gas, sulfur dioxide, phosphorus oxide. Another we will move towards the neutral oxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen monoxide and what water. This is basically the these are the oxides which we have learned today. So these are the examples. If we can reshuffle these oxides, you people can easily identify these oxides according to their properties and according to their classification. So this is the end of the lesson. I hope so that all of you have learned it very well that how to classify oxides as acidic, basic, amphotoric or neutral based on metallic or non-metallic character. So I hope so that you have learned very well. If you have learned even a single word, so don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.